ഫ്രഞ്ച് ഫെമിനിസം ഫ്രഞ്ച് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് ക്രിറ്റിസിസം ഈസ് മോർ തിയറിറ്റിക്കലി ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ദൻ അമേരിക്കൻ ആൻഡ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് ക്രിറ്റിസിസം ഇറ്റ്സ് ഒറിജിൻ ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് കറസ്പോണ്ട്സ് ടു ദ ത്രീ വേവ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് ഫ്രഞ്ച് ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റ് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് beginning from the french revolution in 1789 so there are three waves of feminism there are three waves of feminism in the history of french feminist movement beginning from the french revolution of 1789 February Revolution in 1848, Paris Commune, Workers and Students Movements, Suffragette and Socialist Political Movements influenced the French Feminism and Criticism. French Feminism was influenced by these movements. February Revolution in 1848, Paris Commune, Workers and Students Movements, Campaigns for the Right to Vote, and the Socialist Political Movements. French feminism is sometimes recognized as post-structuralist feminism as many of its propounders follow the theories of Jacques Lacan, Jacques Derrida and Michel Foucault. French feminism is sometimes uh, described as post-structuralist feminism. because many feminists followed the theories of Jacques Lacan, the theories of post-structuralists like Jacques Lacan, Jacques Derrida and Michel Foucault. Julia Kristeva, Luz Irigari, and Helena Sixers are well-known figures in French feminist criticism. Julia Kristeva, who is a structural linguist and psychoanalyst, blended both psychoanalysis and semiotics to create a new area of study which she called semi-analysis. Julia Kristeva, who is a structural linguist and psychoanalyst, blended both the psychoanalysis and semiotics and created a new area of study which she called semi-analysis, blending psychoanalysis and semiotics. semiotics the science of science by blending psychoanalysis and the semiotics she created a new area of study which she called semanalysis luce irigari posits that women are treated traditionally as the other of men not as equal subjects According to Luz Irigari, women are treated traditionally as the author of men. They were never considered as equal, equal subjects. Helena Six's position language as central to her feminist criticism project like Kristeva and Irigari and pioneered 
a creature feminine. Helena Sixes introduced the concept a creature feminine. A creature feminine. A creature feminine is a French term meaning feminine writing. A creature feminine means feminine writing or women's writing. The term as well as the idea was introduced by Helena Sixer in her 1979 essay, The Laugh of the Medusa. It stems from the theoretical position of the French feminists that language has become patriarchal beyond redemption and feminist writers need to invent a new language to express themselves. So her concept of a creature feminine. It stems from the theoretical position of the French feminists that language has become patriarchal beyond redemption, beyond repair. Language has become patriarchal. It has been spoiled, maligned by patriarchy. And women can't do anything with this existing language. It has become male language. And women need a new language. To invent a new language to express themselves. Helena Sixers urges women to enter into writing and thus to regain her body and history. Women have lost their body and history. They have been taken from her by men. When a woman enters into writing, she is trying to reclaim her body and history, which were taken from her, and to enter history, which is all about her suppression. When a woman writes, she is trying to reclaim her body which has been taken from her and also she will be entering history which is all about her suppression. Julia Kristeva and Lou Sirigiri were greatly influenced by Lekhan. They believe that the existing male language prevents women from having subjectivity and in order to gain subjectivity, women should write their own literature. So, Julia Kristeva and Lou Sirigari believe that the existing language is not at all suitable to express themselves, to express the subjectivity of women. The existing male language prevents women from having subjectivity and in order to gain subjectivity, women should write their own literature to express their emotions. To express their subjectivity, the existing male language is not at all suitable. And in order to gain subjectivity, women should write their own literature. Sixers declares that it is impossible to define a creature feminine. A creature feminine was a great impetus to feminist literature all over the world.